This is Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb. And this is one of uh, a whole collection of uh, videos I've made about planting rice, growing rice, tilling the fields, everything to do with rice. Where does it come from? And this is a new uh, chapter for me. Uh, well, it's one with mixed feelings. Let me move up here a bit. The mixed feelings are that they have a machine for planting the rice. So the old pictures of people bent over, <laughs> not doing good things to their backs, may be over. Let's move a bit closer and see what the rice planting machine looks like. What is a little sad for me is this new era of, <laughs> of my rice beer, of, of rice planting. Um, another machine has come along to take the place of people. We have a, uh, a field here which has uh, been uh, you know, all this, all the walls around the side have been uh, prepared and uh, the rainy season is slowly filling it up with water. But there in the distance you can see one guy and one machine set to plant the rice. And I've never seen one before, I'm going to be curious to see how this thing works. Uh, but I'm sad. We don't have this, the sight of, actually in the distance you might have, Still have a few people here, one in the distance there, bent over doing some planting or maybe filling up where the machine left out. But let's try and have a little closer look. It's ready, Cap. Let's have a little closer look at this machine as it uh, makes its way towards us. Oh, uh, it doesn't. Uh, ah, age of change. This really is the first time I've seen one of the machines. Uh, I'm not going to walk any closer. You might, you might guess why. Um, we'll wait for it to come to us. Now your guess is going to be good as, as good as mine on how on earth does this thing work? How does it pick out individual rice plants from the nursery and uh, put them in the ground? Oh, he's just stopped to uh, replenish the pack. Oh, that's interesting. They must have been packed in a particular way. Look how those plants are unfolding. Let me get a bit closer. Oh, they've prepared them. I wonder if they've grown them in that way, or they've packed them in that way. They actually look like they might have been grown in that way. Interesting project. Boys and girls, get onto Google. What is it he's just put in there? Are they plants that have been put into special containers, or are they actually grown? It's like they're on a piece of carpet. Are they actually grown on that piece of uh, carpet, ready to put in machines like this? Now this isn't a Heath Robinson machine, is it? It looks like it's been made in a factory. Very serious. How how straight is he? Is he driven? Yeah, difficult to see. Yeah, I'm certainly not getting in the mud. Even for YouTube. Oh, look at the controls on the back here. There are a number of levers here. And you work them out. Oh, they want some more of these. This is really interesting. Yeah, it looks like those are grown in those special. Look in here. Now you see the roots. They're grown on special beds of some something. Looks like fiberglass, but it can't be fiberglass. What a great research project this could turn out to be. Not a particularly noisy machine either, is it? Can 
I zoom in on there? Oh, they're going in already. Look at that. Well, my brain thinks it's pretty good, but part of my heart goes, ah, there goes a bit of the old world. Maybe the agricultural age is really here. Oh, hang on a minute. We've gone past that, haven't we? Closer look at here. Let's look at this. This is what he's loading in. So that's it. And then uh, they're not packed on here, are they? They're ob it's obviously grown on here. And this feels, it just feels like roots. Maybe it's some material there. You can see the sort of thickness. That's about uh, one and a half centimeters. So these are grown specifically for these machines. That would be an interesting place to go and look at. Popcorn cap. Thank you. They found a little animal, he's found it. What is it? Ooh. A biologist out there, what do you think this is? Oh, it's a tadpole turning into a frog. Oh, I see. I love the fact there's a light on the front of this. They can obviously do this at night time. Very clever. may bring me to the end of this little uh, bit of YouTube, YouTube history of the agricultural age, moving into uh, the, next, the next age. And your homework, boys and girls, is uh, tonight go home uh, and make one of these as a class project. <laughs> it's certainly a lot to... Uh, 
still investigate. Kubuto is on the side of it. That's, uh, I'm guessing, I wonder if that's a Japanese. I wonder if it's made in Japan or in uh, Thailand. Uh, I progress. I wonder if I can get a close-up of the uh, controls. So you can actually pause the video and do a screenshot. So there's some controls up there. Handlebars, accelerator, brake, I guess. I have no, no idea. And there's one right at the bottom there, which looks like it's something to do in the middle of the screen now. Something to do with the depth that you're planting, I'm guessing. Okay. And so that's from uh, Shamal's Guru, Chris Smith in North Thailand. Another one for the Rice Cycle Archives. Have fun.